Hello everyone and welcome to Adam Sharp Weekly. So I've been working on a chat application. I'm still working on it, so it's not really available yet. And I wanted to create chat bubbles, the message bubbles. So now there are many different ways of creating message bubbles and I'm gonna show you one of the ways that I'm using in my application. So first of all, what we need is some sort of a list of chats or let's just call it messages. And we will simply say some sort of uh, string values, so hello world. And we'll start with how are you doing today, okay? And we want to go ahead and display this information on the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and run with the list, messages, we'll use self, we'll get access to a particular chat message, and we'll simply go ahead and display it on the screen, just like a message. Now the first thing we note over here is we are also displaying these separators which are listed right there, these lines that are separating. And also everything is kind of inside the small box. So let's go ahead and fix that. I'm gonna go ahead and say a list style and I'll go with plain. So that is going to kind of just use the plain list view style. And the next thing we can do is we can remove the row separator by simply saying list row separator visibility hidden. So now the separator is also gone. Next thing we need to do is we need to pad up our text. Uh, we need to style it to kind of look like a bubble, right? So how can we make sure that this looks like a bubble? So we can go ahead and say padding. We can add some padding to it. Uh, we can go ahead and by the way, this is not the only way. I mean, you can use shapes and paths to create that and you can get animation features with that. But I just wanted to create like a something like, which is really simple. There we go. So we got our, you know, the background color also over here. Let's go ahead and change the foreground color too, to be white. And now we can go ahead and clip the shape. So clip shape, a rounded rectangle. Corner radius, this is up to you, whichever corner radius you want, and continues for nice smooth corner radius. Okay, looks good. But one of the things we will note over here is in chat application, usually what they have is kind of an indicator, like, like this kind of a thing that is sticking out, right? So how can we create that part? Now, one of the ways you can create that is by simply using overlay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create an overlay. And I can go ahead and set the alignment. It will be aligned at bottom leading because it's on the left side. And then I will have to use some sort of an image to create over there. Now, one of the images you can actually use is something called the arrow triangle down, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it over here. So you'll be able to see what it looks like. And maybe you can see it, it's right there. It's the arrow triangle and it is down, all right? Now, instead of putting this on our list itself, maybe we can put this on the text. And now you can see it's kind of like pointing down right now, right? Which is fine. Let's go ahead and <clears throat> give it some other things. Uh, let's go ahead and give it like a font title. So it's a little bit bigger. Okay, that might be too big, uh, but you can decide that if it's too big for you or not. And we want to rotate it also. So rotation effect will rotate it, let's say 45 degrees. Okay, that's fine. And now we can actually use the offset to target a particular bottom left region. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and say X value. We can go with, try out different values. This is where you'll be trying different values over here. So let's start with, yeah, we'll start with 30, but obviously 30 doesn't look right. You can already see the problem, right? I mean, it's way off. Oops, I'm not sure what's going on over here. There we go. Okay, so probably we can start with minus 10. Okay, that kind of looks good, right? I mean, it's kind of like really at the corner. 
And what we can also do is change the foreground color to be the same as the bubble. So it kind of blends in and there you go. Now we have created our bubble. It looks pretty nice. I mean, you can adjust it a little bit more if you want to. You look at carefully. It looks fine. I mean, not a big deal. Let's go a little bit more closely. Now I can't really move anything. There we go. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, it's not that bad. With the effort that we are putting in, it looks, I mean, people are not really going to magnify it really closely, but it looks nice. Okay. Now, sometimes the bubble or the arrow will be on the left side and sometime it will be on the right side because we might have to create some bubbles that are for you and just like WhatsApp, it will be on the right side, not on the left side. So how can we accommodate that, right? So first of all, what I want to do is move all of this into kind of like a separate thing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say struct. I will call it chat bubble or chat message view. You can call it whatever you want. View var body. And we can probably copy all of this stuff, the whole text thing out of here and just put it right there. And then start using this part. So I can go ahead and say, what is it? Chat message view. And pass in the message, which it doesn't really accept right now. So we'll have to go to the chat message view and add that. So we'll say message, which will be simply a string. The output should be the same thing because we haven't really done anything to it yet. It still displays the same thing. Another thing that we can add is the chat message direction, which means that which direction should we show this arrow thing. And we can also add the direction to our message view. Now the chat message view will also have some other stuff like the username and all that stuff, but we're not really doing that. So direction, I'm just gonna go with left. Okay. Now we have to perform some stuff over here because based on the direction, we will have to put this bottom leading or bottom trailing. So over here, we can say that if the direction is left, then use bottom leading, else use bottom trailing. But apart from that, we also have to switch some other things. So let's say that if I do set this direction to be right, you can see that it's moving over there, but it didn't really switch out the actual arrow. It's still pointing like on the left side. So this is where we can actually change the degrees part of it. We can say direction. If it is left, then we will say 45. Else we can try out minus 45 and see how that looks. Okay, looks good, but uh, probably we have to move this part also a little bit. All right. So I'm going to say over here, if the direction is left, then go ahead and use 10 or else use... Uh, not sure, 30 maybe? Okay, 30 might be too much, 20? Okay, how about 10? Okay, 10 looks pretty good, all right? And there you have it. We have created our chat message view. It's a bubble, and we can change the direction of this bubble also just by changing it right over here. I can go ahead and say left, looks good. I can say right, and it looks good too. I mean, you can adjust it a little bit more if you want to, but if even if I go and closely look at it, it kind of looks fine. I mean, it's not like too bad or anything. All right. So with only a few lines of code, we're able to create these kind of bubbles just by using a text view and by creating an overlay based on the arrow triangle fill. Now, if you do find some other image system name that actually appears much better. You can always take a look at the San Francisco symbols. That's the, uh, that's the application where you can find all of those different things. So you can definitely use this application. I think if you search for arrow, you may be able to locate those arrows that I'm using. All right, it might be somewhere down there. Let's see. 
Yeah, it's kind of hard to see over here, you can see, but I can search with the name, oh, here we go. So these are the arrows that I'm talking about. I think the one that we are using is kind of like this one. Yep, all right. So there you have it. We can create, easily create chat bubbles with a little bit of a trick using an arrow uh, image, which kind of blends in and that allows us to create chat view. Now, this is not the only way, obviously. You can use the path and most of the tutorials will tell you to use the path. We can use that, that's perfectly fine. But that is another way of creating really nice, simple chat message view chat bubbles. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my courses on Udemy. You can see that I have a lot of courses, including the brand new course on creating the reminders application. So this is a great course which will tell you local notification, it will use core data with SIF UI and a lot more stuff. If you're looking for augmented reality, I have a course on Reality Kit, RX Swift, Core Data, the best selling course, MVVM design pattern with UI kit applications, and also iOS development project based learning using UI kit and Swift. So, all of these courses are available to you. You can also go to my website, which is adamsharp.com, go to courses and click on these links. This is actually the preferred way of buying my courses. If you go and buy my courses using these links, and if you get a good price, then I get also a little bit of a cut for the price, so I made a little bit of revenue. But uh, these are all the referral links that you can see, and they will be able to give you the best currently available price, unless there's a sale going on, all right? So there you have it. Uh, definitely check out my courses. Thank you so much for your continuous support.